What's up, YouTube? I'm gonna make another video today on how to make an improved uh, HD antenna since everyone seemed to like the one I posted previously. So I was kind of thinking what I could use since I had some of this copper speaker wire I used last time, about five foot of it. This is a little shorter, different wire. I thought, what's a little sturdier? and maybe we can catch more channels it's a little thicker so i found this copper coat hanger so i'm gonna try and create a little makeshift hd antenna with this uh, empty medicine bottle i found this little bracket that was for an old security camera you can um, attach it to the wall and then this is your bracket you can make an antenna here I'll it's gonna look crazy, but it should work. So first I'm gonna take the coat hanger um, and I'm gonna measure about six inches in length, two, two pieces and cut those out. I may run some sandpaper on the wire real, real quick. Line these up, got the exact match. Should have two six inch pieces, the same exact size. So to hold uh, the pieces I cut out, I'm using a medicine bottle. This a regular medicine bottle. Peel the sticker off. You can use a bigger one. All I have is this small one. So I'm just gonna kind of make a hole in the bottom. Right. Only because this bracket right here has a screw attachment. That would hold the it would hold the camera on the mount. So I'm gonna use this underneath and then the cap will screw onto the mount just to kind of hold it in place. Like that. And then you can put this on top. Now I need to make some holes to hold the antennas. Sorry, antenna receivers. Kind of like this. Uh, just kind of poke some holes and hot glue these in place. I'm just going to kind of guess. I'll kind of offset them. That way it gives a little extra um, stabilization. I'm gonna try to hot glue them in place too, but this should hold it pretty steady. Okay, so I got them in and they're stable, so I'm not even gonna hot glue them. It's pretty long. Should get some good signal. Now to modify the coaxial. I found a kind of short one, that way I'm not dealing with a whole bunch of wire. 
So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna cut the end off. Like that. And then I'm gonna strip down about, I'd say about three inches. So as you can see, I stripped off the piece. So now you should be left with some braided pieces and an insulator. So these are the three pieces that came off. Insulator on the inside. Uh, braided wiring to keep it secure and then the coating <clears throat> and you should be left with a piece of copper sticking out in the center and then some very thin wires on the outside so it's pretty obvious as to why it's like this the center of the coaxial is the copper and the outer is this for the ground. So now that we have the wire stripped and the uh, setup stable, what I'm going to do is just take the copper, copper piece coming out the center and just twirl it around one of these got one piece on so I'm going to do the wiring to the other one so they'll each have a wire to wrap around I'm trying to be gentle with the thin wire because it does tend to break very easily But as long as you have contact, it should be good. Okay. Just kind of fixing things into place right now. If this, this does seem to work better than I thought, then I'm going to go ahead and get some... Uh, like wire crimpers and use that on the ends instead of just wrapping it around give it a better better connection Let's see. since I have this all connected I'm gonna go ahead and I'm just gonna run some high glue on it just to where it doesn't come undone to where the wire stays I'll show you after that all right it's all hot glued in the place it's not the prettiest thing in the world but I'm gonna get some free TV so I'm gonna screw this on here and then Time to test it out. Alright, so I got it all hooked up. I don't have it mounted to the wall yet because I don't know where exactly I'm going to put it. And I did add some electrical tape just to hold the wire. Have it plugged in. 
to the antenna input. Same as I did with the wire in the other video I made. So I'm gonna take my remote, go to menu, broadcasting, antenna, make sure it's on air. Okay, and then auto program start here and scan There's four channels already yeah like I said it all depends on the placement of the antenna but I mean four channels not that bad for that just like the wire I had 11 channels with the wire so I'd be excited if I got more channels with this This also kind of seems more directional, but you have one for each input from the coaxial. 10 channels. So we're back at our 11 channels. So if this is outside, it'd probably be a lot better. Um, 9 out of 10, this is all local, but some of these channels are pretty far, like 70 miles. So for inside, it's not that bad. It catches the same amount of channels, but the good thing about this is probably it's going to be more stable channels. Like, I can walk by it and it's not, you know, it's not getting fuzzy or anything. This is perfect high def quality. I don't know if my camera could pick it up that good, but it really is good quality for just homemade antenna. Not bad. If you like the video, please leave a thumbs up. And as always, subscribe for future videos. Till next time.